Hello, we're gonna be cleaning this thing today. A cracking, real thing. There's a trainer. I already took some of the screws a little bit out, so it's easier to do. Um, I've had this for a couple of months now. Love it. But you can see, I've been using the safe handle a lot. Um, yeah. I've been trying to get this out with soap, but it seems like it's stuck in metal, so I'm gonna do a thorough clean with this now. Um, I did paint it black once. Uh, you can see around there, still a little bit left in these holes, there are still some. On the blade, sorry for the train, but fuck it. But yeah, the blade still has some black inside of these. Um, there's still some black left over, some residue. So some of the things you need for this, some, some dishwash soap, just any kind. And paper towels for the loctiting later on. Some lube when it's all loctited together. Need some um, something you can screw the screws out with. This is just a T10. Um, you can unscrew it. Uh, by uh, pressing the handles together like this, and then you can just go ahead. Yes. Yeah. So now we've got the whole thing disassembled. This is the safe handle, as you can still see. All the washers are down here. And the, the bushings are actually still in there. I'm just get one real quick. Alright, now all of this is very dirty, so what I recommend is getting water bath like this and I'm just putting them in there and that is all now leave this for 30 minutes and then I'll be back all right it's been 30 minutes they've been soaking in there for a while now so now we just gotta use a scrubber and try to get everything out of there you can see it's starting to work already. I'll just go um, scrub all these and then I'll be back. All parts have been scrubbed now. There's still that blackness I cannot get out of there. It's just stuck in the middle. I don't know how that happened. But uh, everything has been scrubbed. There's also soap and a little bit of uh, this, which is just alcohol, like a hand sanitizer. I've just uh, cleaned it a bit. But now I'm gonna put it all under. Um, just normal just tap water, just to get all the soap on, that might still be on there. But yeah, I've tried to get as much of everything I could out, and uh, it looks alright. Still a little bit of, of blackness in those little grooves, but got most of it off. But yeah, I'll um, put it under water real quick. Just refill this with uh, some hot water, I'm going to put everything in there now, just to give it some normal water. I'm gonna let it sit there just for five minutes and then I'll clean it off under the tap. Now I've now been there for five minutes. I'm gonna put all the small parts in the calendar and then I'll just uh, hose it with water from the tap directly. They have all been cleaned under the hose now and uh, I've dried them off a little bit. And now it's about time to assemble this whole thing again. So let me get rid of uh, the bath, clean up a little bit and uh, I'll be back. All right, so now it's about assembling this thing again. So you got your handles, got your blade, and you should like this. So I'm still gonna use this as my safe handle. So this is how I need to start the first screw. I like to have my titanium blues at the front, so I'm gonna put them like that. But yeah, let me, uh, let me just get this handle on real quick. First, you take a bushing and put it into the hole. Put the handle up against and put washers in between these two points. Put the first one in, as you can see. It's a little bit difficult, very tight tolerances, but you can use a screwdriver to help you a little bit to guide it through there, like this. Let me get the other handle on before I start using lock time. Now both of the end caps are in there. And it's technically fully functional now, because the tolerances are very good on this. But now it's about putting Loctite into this. What I usually do, and I've been Loctiting this twice now, this is the second time I'm cleaning it. I basically just put the tip of this thing on the top of some paper like this. And just make sure that it flows all the way to the bottom without there being like bubbles that's fine. 
So just put a little bit in the towel. So now I know this is all the way down. And I put it into the hole. And I just give it a little bit in a little bit in both. Okay, like that. Then I do this. Just try to get a little bit of it out. And that seems to be alright. Now it's just about to get these screws in there. So you just put the screw in and start twisting it. I'll put both in and then I'll be back. Now screws are in on both sides. It is finished. You can see there's a little bit of um, leftover residue. Let me focus. Near the screws, there's a little ring of the Loctite. You can just take a piece of the towel and try to get into those holes. Get it out. Just a little bit. Get it out. But um, when you get rid of that little ring, you, I mean, you don't have to. I just prefer that. Um, the tolerances now are minimal. It's still a little bit. I've used it so long. It's probably just the washers who's been bent over a little bit of time. But um, yeah, after you've locked at it, let it uh, sit overnight before you actually start using it to make sure that the Loctite actually settles in. But yeah, the day after, you should just lube it up and then it's, it's fully ready to go. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>